Our families who are uh, Spanish speakers, I've asked Ms. Cuervo, who is going to be our ELL uh, uh, coordinator in the fall, to help me uh, by translating what I'm going to say. So Ms. Cuervo, will you wave, please, so people know who you are? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, this is our second meeting so that all of our families know the plan. I've put it in writing so that you have access to it and can look at it. We hope that you've looked at it already so that you, if you have questions or comments, you can make them. I have my pen and my paper here to write them down. Ms. Cuervo, you want to say anything? You want me to say what you just said? <laughs> She's on mute. Can you hear me? Can you unmute her, please, Miss Jones? She's not on mute. Can you hear me? I can hear you. People are saying hi to you, Miss Cuervo. You need. <laughs> can you unmute yourself? Miss Jones, can he? Uh, Todd Jones can hear me. I don't know. Miss Jones, can, can you hear Miss Cuervo, please? We can hear her. We can hear her. Oh, you can hear her. Yes. Okay. I can't hear her. Yes. All right. I, I can hear you, Ms. Corbin. I'll have to trust that this is working. I see that some parents let me know that they can hear Ms. Cuervo, and it's most important that you hear her <laughs> instead of me. Okay, here we go. Ms. Jones, can you move me to the next page? Okay. Today, we are going to discuss the six most important components of our re-entry in the fall. We're going to talk about safe operations, uh, communication, informed flexibility, behavior and health, equity and access, and teaching and learning. Hoy vamos a tener una discusión que lo que va a pasar en otoño um, las, los tres componen componentes, por ejemplo, operaciones seguras, comunicaciones, informado, flexibilidad, comportamiento y salud, equidad y acceso, y enseñando y aprendiendo. Okay, so we're going to start with the safe operations. Uh, we are going to align best practices, meaning that for transportation, food service, instruction, facility management, we are using the document for the, from the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, so that we are following the federal guidelines to ensure that we are doing all of our operations using best practices. Vamos a empezar con la operación seguras, por ejemplo, mejorando las prácticas alineadas transporte, servicio y alimentos y gestión de instalaciones. Vamos a enfocarnos a, a seguir los pasos federales del Departamento de Salud. Okay. Communication is going to be ongoing. It will be frequent and we will respond to any of your questions as soon as we receive them. Comunicaciones. Compromiso con la comunicación continua y frecuente con familias. Siempre vamos a estar en contacto con ustedes, los padres de familia. Okay. Informed flexibility. We ask that you are uh, 
that you are flexible in the things that we ask, that you know that we are keeping the protection of our children at the center of all of our decisions. We're going to use a mixture of instructional practices. We're going to do traditional, which is in the classroom in front of the teacher, uh, virtual, which is how we are communicating now, and a, a combination of, of uh, models. That's the hybrid. Informado flexibilidad, opciones educativas, va a ser modelos tradicionales, por ejemplo, adentro de la escuela, frente a frente a un maestro, virtuales híbridos, por ejemplo, lo que estamos haciendo um, ahora, vamos a tener flexibilidad usando dos opciones. Okay. Uh, behavior and health. We know that our children have been affected by this pandemic, and we will always keep at the center of our uh, interactions with them supporting them and you as members of the family. Uh, we'll ask that you stay in contact with us. So if there's something that we need to know to better support our children, we, you will have informed us so that we can pay attention to those things. Comportamiento y salud, enfoque integral de niño para apoyar a nuestros estudiantes y familias. La principal dijo que siempre es importante que todos nos quedemos en contacto en cualquier problema que tenga. Um, vamos a, a trabajar con ustedes. Okay. Equity and access mean that we will make sure that every child in our school has exactly what they need and we attend to their needs as well as we can. And that means computers, materials, how you wish to be instructed. We're going to do everything we can to support our families and our children. Equidad y acceso, acceso, acceso a los recursos y apoyos necesarios. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, dándole a los estudiantes computadoras, materiales que ellos necesiten, todo lo que Todo el apoyo que necesiten los padres de familia y los, y los estudiantes, nosotros estaremos ahí para apoyarlos. We are going to do our training of our teachers in uh, late August uh, so that their lessons are engaging and uh, the uh, subject matter will be aligned to the standards so that our kids are not left behind. Uh, we we will do the very best we can to prepare our teachers for virtual learning. Enseñando y aprendiendo instrucción y atractiva y alineada vamos a estar entrenando a los maestros para que la, todos los planes sean atractivos y apoyen a los niños para que ellos no queden atrás pero que sigan adelante. Ms. Jones. So we're going to only look at the first, the end of the first semester, the end of 2020. So we're going to talk about our health and safety plans. We're going to talk about attendance and that we are dividing our children into three tracks. And we want to talk with you briefly about our in-person instruction. Vamos a hablar del primer semestre. Um, Por lo que va a pasar por ahora, the planes de salud y seguridad, asistencia programada, pista A, pista B, pista C, y en persona instrucción. Okay. Um, there is a parent who is telling us that they have great concern about sending their child back to school, and we are as well. However, if you want, this is one reason why we are not going to begin school in the building until October, so that we can see how the medical community and how the virus remains not at a high risk in the Rockaways. But if you don't, don't want your child to return to school, it's okay. We will do remote learning for your child. Nosotros entendemos que hay muchos padres que están muy preocupados por entrar otra vez a la escuela, pero hay opciones. Si usted no se siente cómodo que su hijo entre otra vez a la escuela, hay la opción que su hijo aprenda virtualmente. Yes, 
There's another parent who wants to know, would their child have the same teacher for the virtual and in-person instruction, regardless of the track? Yes, one, those children will have that teacher from September through June. We're not gonna move them all around. When the children are out, the teacher will be out as well, teaching from home, okay? Hay un padre que acaba de preguntar que si... Moving on. Los cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting. Uh, we will have a consistent schedule. We've already made that arrangement with our cleaning company to uh, disinfect the classrooms twice during the day and also high frequency areas, the doorknobs, the handrails, the desks, the restrooms, the water dispensers, any place that our children are going to go or be. For the restrooms, the bathrooms downstairs will only be used by the pre-Ks and the kindergartners. First through fifth, we'll have to use the bathrooms upstairs and we will have a monitor who sits there, uh, still providing our children privacy, uh, letting no more than three girls in the restroom at a time and the boys one at a time to be sure that they are not doing anything that will put themselves in jeopardy. Vamos a tener un ciclo de limpieza constante para áreas de alta frecuencia, perrillas, de puertas, pasamos, pasamanos, escritorios, baños, descendores de agua. Vamos a estar um, desinfectando todo, todo, todo el día prácticamente. Um, el primer grado hasta quinto grado va a estar usando un piso de más y, cada, y van a tener a una persona en los pasillos monitorando los niños que entren al baño. Ok. Disinfectant cleaners will be provided to each classroom teacher to be used as needed. Limpiador disinfectante proporcionado a cada clase para usar según sea necesario. There will be frequent hand washing or in-classroom sanitizer. Lavado de manos programado con frecuencia o uso de disinfectante para manos en el aula. While we have no control over the buses in the morning, uh, we will make sure that the buses are disinfected before our children get on them in the evening. We will have a spray for the seats so that the children are, are kept as safe as possible. They will come home with their face shields on and their masks. Aunque nosotros no tenemos control de los buses por la mañana, vamos a tener más control en la tarde. En los, uh, vamos a ver que los autobuses estén desinfectados de forma regular. También um, pendiente que los niños se monten con su máscara y con su su shield en la, en la, de la cara para que ellos mantengan esa preocupación. Ok. Signs will be posted throughout the building uh, so that the children can be always reminded uh, of how they should behave. Uh, we're going to have the stairwells uh, one way. We're going to have a line down the middle of the floor so that children stay on one side of the line. Uh, we'll have the big circles on the floor so that children will know the appropriate social distance that they have to maintain. La sinenización se publicará en todo el edificio escolar y las aulas. Vamos a tener círculos y líneas que dividen los datos. Por, por ejemplo, si un niño está caminando de un lado, se tiene que quedar de un lado y otro niño de otro lado. Tienen que mantener la distancia y eso es lo que nosotros vamos a enfocar cuando regresemos a la escuela. Ok. There will be hand sanitizer stations outside of the classroom, but we will also teach our children how to use the hand sanitizer correctly and how to cleanse their hands correctly. So they will have hand sanitizer and the temperature taken as soon as they come into the building and throughout the day. Uh, parents will, we're, we're going to ask parents to please understand that we are not going, we're going to not let parents or anybody in the building other than the students 
I know that there are documents that parents want to give to Ms. Johnson. Uh, we're going to have stations set up outside and in the hallway so that you don't have to go any further than right there. But after that time, we're going to ask that parents really minimize their entry into the building. And once again, there's that flexibility, understanding why we cannot allow adults into the building. El desinfectante de manos estará disponible cuando los estudiantes y los padres ingresen el edificio y a las aulas. Nosotros vamos a estar tomando la temperatura a los niños y a los padres de familia cada día. Es muy importante que ustedes entiendan que aunque somos bien flexibles, es mejor que no entren al edificio porque es menos provocante que se, se, se vaya a, a a, a aumentar el virus. Entonces, es muy importante que nosotros nos mantengamos en distancia y la escuela va a tener diferentes personas afuera de la escuela para tener de su disposición para que los ayude en cualquier cosa afuera de la escuela. Ms. Jones, next page. Social distancing and other safety protocols. Uh, teachers will come into the school before the children come in and set up their learning spaces so that we provide the greatest distance possible. And we will also use our hallways with uh, separation uh, for alternative spaces. Los maestros establecerán sus espacios de aprendizaje con respecto al distanciamiento social en el mayor medida posible. Siempre que sea posible, se utilizará el espacio de instrucción alternativos. Okay. In the cafeteria, there will not be family style meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and our meal provider is aware that the meals will come covered and uh, they can pick them up and sit down. Área de cafetería. Sin desayuno, estilo buffet, almuerzo, cena, se utilizan marcas para indicar distancia de seis pies en las líneas de alimentos. Ya, nos, ya las personas que nos sirven el almuerzo y el desayuno saben que todas las comidas tienen que estar empacadas y cerradas individualmente para cada, para cada estudiante. Cafeteria surfaces will be disinfected between the sessions. So the seats and the tables will be wiped down when before kids sit and after they leave. Todas las áreas de la cafetería serán desinfectadas entre sesiones de servicio cuando ellos entran y cuando ellos salen. Okay. Uh, the tables in the cafeteria usually hold eight students, but we're going to have four instead of the eight and we will have to hold three lunch periods. Las mesas de la cafetería, si casualmente, um, ocho personas se pueden sentar, pero vamos a tener de más cuatro niños a cada mesa, entonces vamos a extender a tres periodos de almuerzo. Okay, the hallways will also utilize social distancing. We're going to have the big circles on the floor so that children know where they should stand. We'll have signs on the walls, reminders, plus we're going to talk to them about it. And we're asking that you too, please speak to your children and discuss these things with them so that they're hearing it from you first and it won't be as difficult for us. We will reinforce this every day to ensure that our children stay safe. Los pasillos utilizan el distanciamiento social utilizando círculos de pasillo en los pisos y letreros en las paredes. Es muy importante, nosotros vamos a estar constantemente hablando con los estudiantes de todos los protocolos y cómo ellos tienen que um, estar en la escuela con la distancia, pero es muy importante que ustedes, padres de familia, hablen con sus hijos de cómo ellos deben actuar ahora Ms. que Jones. es diferente. Okay. Cafeteria and food service. Remember, no buffet style, no family style. 
Let, uh, all meals will come prepackaged. No hay desayuno estilo buffet, almuerzo ni cena. Todo va a estar empacado. Markings are on the floor to indicate where children need to stand. Se colocarán marcas en los pisos para indicar la distancia apropiada en las líneas de servicio de alimentos. Cafeteria surfaces will be disinfected between each group coming into the cafeteria. Todas las áreas de la cafetería serán disinfectadas entre sesiones de servicio. Okay, children will be spread out. There will be four kids at the table instead of eight and three lunch periods. Los niños estarán separados. No van a estar ocho estudiantes sentados en la mesa. Serán cuatro. Y vamos a estar, habrá tres periodos de almuerzo. We know that this will be a challenge. Our students will have to be trained to not share food. They have a tendency to share whatever snack you send. They share the food that's on their plates. If they don't want the sweet potato fries, they'll pass them on to someone else. We have to begin training our children to not share food. Los estudiantes serán entrenados para no compartir alimentos o cubiertos para comer. Es muy importante que ustedes hablen con sus hijos en la casa que no deben compartir comida. Children's meals will be covered already in place. Las comidas ya estarán cerradas y preparadas para, para que ellos coman. Face masks and gloves will be worn by the cafeteria workers. Uso de mascarilla y guantes por quienes sirven comida estarán cada día. Any snacks that you send, please, please have them in individual bags and remind your child that we are not sharing snacks. Uh, and we've also decided not to have any birthday celebrations with cake or cupcakes for September, October, November, and December. What we'll do is sing happy birthday and then they'll get their birthday book. We'll make a big deal, but we're not going to gather in the gym in the mornings as we usually do. We'll do the pledge all together um, over the loudspeaker system. We will maintain the social distancing. Por favor, padres, que si ustedes van a traer comida, un snack, algo para su hijo, que no, que todo sea individual y por otra vez hablen con sus hijos que es muy importante que no compartan comida. También no hay celebraciones de cumpleaños con pastel, pastelillos, hasta nuevo aviso. Cantaremos feliz cumpleaños y los estudiantes recibirán su libro de cumpleaños. Hygiene. We we'll have the posters for proper hygiene in the classrooms, the restrooms, and the halls. They'll get their instruction every single morning from the very first day they're in the building and throughout the year. Staff will be trained on proper hygiene and cleaning procedures. School announcements every morning will include daily training and reminders on best practices. All students will have access to hand sanitizer. And we're going to ask, we're gonna change up our school supplies because we will need some support with hand sanitizer. Please teach your child that if they have that pump, hit it one time and that's all because we don't want to damage their skin with that alcohol and too much hand sanitizer drips out on the floor and it strips the floor of wax and its color. And uh, the last, uh, all students will have access as soon as they enter the building and they will only use their own materials. And that includes sanit um, computers and tablets, and we'll clean them twice a day. Ms. Cuervo. <laughs> Muestra la orientación del poste sobre la higiene adecuada en las aulas, baños y pasillos. Instruya a los estudiantes cada mañana desde el primer día de instrucción en el edificio sobre la práctica de higiene adecuada y refuerza durante todo el año. 
capacitación del personal sobre procedimientos adecuados de higiene y limpieza. Los anuncios escolares incluirán capítulos capacitación diaria y recordatorio sobre el lavado de manos y las mejores prácticas. Todos los estudiantes tendrán acceso a desinfectantes para manos en todas las puertas al ingresar a nuestro edificio. Todos los estudiantes solo usarán sus propios material, materiales asignados, es decir, computadoras o tabletas, se limpiarán dos veces al día. Y también le pedimos a los padres que es muy importante que cuando empecemos el año, si posiblemente es no algo que van a estar en la lista de materiales que necesitamos para la escuela es hand sanitizer. We know that for some of our children, keeping this mask on all day will be a challenge. So it's okay because they, every child, we've already gotten some, every child will receive a shield. And uh, that they will need to wear all day. This will do as well as we can, but we know that this is a challenge for our little ones. And one of our parents so gracefully and gratefully told us that you should only do for four hours before you have to do another one at all. So we have a couple of questions. Um, let's see. Do kids have to wear a mask in class? Yes, yes they do. But I've already addressed that now. Uh, the mask is on and off, but the face shield is an all day, okay? What day does school is going? We're going to give you the calendar in just a few minutes. Where can I access this PowerPoint? It's on Dojo. I put it on Dojo so that you all have access to it whenever you'd like. School will begin on the 9th of September, uh, and we'll go more into how we're planning to do that. Uh, will all school students be tested before they enter? Yes, every single morning, we will do the temperature check with the handheld thermometer uh, at their head every morning before they come in. And uh, throughout the day. Uh, good afternoon. Um, let's see. Uh, what? My ink, my Spanish. Can you see that, Miss Cuervo? Oh, give me a second. Uh, this one here? Yeah, I'm trying to get down to the thing. Uh, they're saying what is going to be the schedule for kids that are going partially. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What if we don't have a face mask? We will provide the face mask and the shield. Let me write it. No worries. We have these. We have a thousand of these already so that we can go for at least through the three months we're in the building. How can you know if any of the children are asymptomatic, they are no signs nor symptoms? That's a good question. We have been reviewing the, the Center for Disease Control's guidelines. One of the things that we're going to do is test the children right, you know, as they enter. If a child becomes, um, if any child becomes ill or looks ill or the teacher feels they look ill, they will be sent to the nurse and she will quarantine them, contact the parents. Uh, and we're going to um, we're going to have the nurse join us in August 
so that we can better answer that question. But I do want to say, please, parents, if your child is ill, please do not medicate them so that they have no temperature when they come in. And when that medication wears off, their temperature zooms. At that point, you've exposed everybody in the class to the virus, and we have to exclude the entire class from school from two days to the 14 days. So please pay attention to your children because we will. Um, how, okay, we, that one I just finished, but I will get further information. Uh, there is a survey, parent wanted to know how do we pick the track? We have attached a survey that you will get, Ms. Jones will have it attached uh, by the time we're finished with this session, you should fill it out as soon as you get it and send it back as quickly as possible. Parents who don't fill it in, well, we'll just assign your child. But we want you to have a choice so that it fits into your schedule and you're comfortable with where your child will be. There will be three classes at every grade level. Okay? No signs nor symptoms. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. Uh, and I think that's an excellent question, but I want my nurse to be here. We couldn't reach her for this one so that she can talk to our parents about that because I'm sure she will know how to, she's in trainings as well. So I'm sure she will know how to identify that child. Uh, Will lunch and breakfast be served daily to the students pre-packaged? Yes. Yes, it will. All meals will be pre-packaged. Our caterer knows that we have to do that, and they know that they have to have the food in a container covered, and we get it like that. It's not handled at all in our building except to put the container into the heating racks and then take them out and kids will be served. Let's see, all right. After school programs, any tutoring? Uh, we don't know yet by right now about the after school. We will know that by August. Uh, because the city may say that we can hold no after school programs. Uh, the tutoring, uh, we'll do that in September for all of our children. Our teachers are well aware of the challenge that we have in uh, this school year. Uh, the fortunate thing is that they are giving us the time to accelerate and move our children forward. So, I promise we will not leave any child behind. The most important thing is that our parents don't let their child get left out by not sending their child to school. But I will say something about that as well. If your child is sick, stay home, let the teacher know, and we will do a virtual lesson. We will do a virtual lesson every day so that our kids don't get, so the kids don't miss class or miss lessons. So please, if your child isn't feeling well, keep them at home, let the teacher know, and we will still deliver the lesson to them. We'll have to let you know about after school in August, okay? Let's see if I see, oh, oh yeah, we do. If the bus drivers, they have to, if they, are the bus drivers going to take precautions? They have to, or they will lose their contract with the city. We are going to go out, the buses arrive at school earlier than dismissal. So uh, there are two teachers that manage all the lines. We will go out and spray the bus seats to make sure that we know that the buses 
have been sanitized before our kids get on the buses to go home. Plus, they will wear their face shield. Some of us are no longer receiving dojos from me. Uh, can a PDF or a word copy of the plan be posted? Uh, it's on dojo. Uh, Miss Jones put it on Monday evening. Uh, so uh, we will continue to post. I'm promising you uh, more communication, but it's there. It's there. I promise you it's there. This presentation is there. Okay. Will a few be assigned to a track and how do you manage children who talk remotely only? Um, will a few be assigned to a track? Uh, I'm not sure what the beginning is saying, but children who are, re who are taught remotely only, they will, okay, I think I get it. They will work with the teacher all the time. We will have all of our classes remotely sent out to you. You don't have to worry about a child missing a lesson, especially those children who are not coming into the building. And we completely understand a parent's feelings about that. And we are prepared to do whatever it takes to have you feel comfortable and your children safe. This is half resumed. Ah, goodness. Yes, it's okay. We will make sure that kids are getting their lessons. Fourth graders entry for middle school. There will not be any testing in fourth grade this year. Unfortunately, those are former third graders will not have any state testing until fifth grade. There will be no testing in this school year. So the most important thing that a child can do is to do as well as they can during school so they have high grades. We're going to support our children as they've never been supported before. We're going to go over and beyond, all hands on deck. I'm prepared to, take, to tutor children if they need any additional help. All hands on deck. We will not let our parents or our students down. We will not let our students not do well. Will students wear both mask and shield during the school period? Yes. If they can't tolerate the mask, then they can do that, but they will need to wear the face shield all day. They'll have to wear the face shield all day. I don't think that this is as difficult uh, as wearing the mask all day, especially when it's hot. We know that the temperatures are going to be warm in, the, in September, which is another reason why we're going to do remote learning in September. Okay, I have another question. Oh, they're coming. Yes, you're going to keep those face shields and please clean them every night when they come home and we'll do them after as they leave so that they stay sanitary. Yes, you will have that face shield to go home. Um, I don't know. I don't think that they're making kids. There's this question, uh, will children have to take the COVID test before entering school? I don't believe they do. I have not heard of any children taking that test. So uh, we're, this is why we'll have another meeting in August so that we will be able to answer any of these questions. Um, and, but if they do, the parent asked, would we have to have 
um, results. If they tell us children have to, then we would need the results. Um, but I haven't heard of any children being required to be tested at all in any state. I'm on a principal blog that goes across the country and no one has mentioned that. Uh, we talk about what plans we all have, but for testing, that's not something that has been discussed on any meetings. I listened to the mayor and the governor today and they too did not mention anything about our young children having to be tested. I will continue to listen every day to get the most current information possible. Um, workbook requirements, will there be? Yes, uh, for those who do not intend to return into the building, we will mail them to your house. All workbooks, we will mail them to your house if no one is, is able to come from your family to pick up the books. How long will the school day be? Uh, uh, that's something that I'm going to have to discuss with the board. Um, we'll be do if you're in the building, I'm thinking we'll have a full day because we still will have the sessions. The ones at home will not be as long as the lessons are in the building. So there'll be two different times for in the building and out of the building. But we will give you that information as well in August. We are waiting to see what directives the mayor and the governor gives us. Uh, as I listen today, he said that we will get uh, he will, he's asking for all of our startup replans no later than July 31st. We have ours, we're ready. And he will get, he will give us our final directives uh, sometime during the week of August 1st through the 7th. So we're planning for our next meeting uh, to be August the 12th, okay? Uh, Spanish, Ms. Cuervo. Ms. Todd Jones, can you ask the um, Ms. Jones, um, when are they going to get the list for like the I'm material? Glad you're here. Can you ask? Ask what? Uh, when are they going to get the list like of the materials that they need for the following year? Oh, the school supply list? Yeah, school supply list. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. You don't know yet. I'm not sure either. We'll find out. For children's more. annual medical documents, will we still be able to submit, scan a copy? Yes, we will want those. Um, Ms. Hernandez, Ms. Hernandez, are you on this? So, See, I Ms. can't hear anything on my side, so I don't know. Um, but yes, Medical documents will need to be submitted to Ms. Hernandez. If I don't want to send my school, my children, do I have to? Uh, no, you can do remote learning for the entire school year. All you have to do is let us know on the survey that we're going to give to you and you don't have to. Please know parents, we're going to do whatever we have to do to support you and your child. We don't wanna make any extra burden or add any stress to your life. We're going to do everything we can to support every child and their family members, okay? Because this is going to be stressful enough. How long can we have the face shield? Once you get it, it's yours. Okay. All right. If there are take okay. If there are any tests on paper and a child is sick and is at home, how will he or she do the test? We have uh, we're using Google Classroom. Google Classroom allows us to prevent to present any 
uh, homework and assignments are sent back through Google Classroom. We'll do a training, a brief training with our parents so that you know how to use Google Classroom. We'll have Mr. Peduano do that. So the tests are submitted back, okay? During the previous lockdown, my child's homeroom teachers didn't post dojo announcements for upcoming tests. Hmm, okay. I will ensure that all, uh, that we do a better job of communicating with parents so that you know when testing is concerned. We'll post homework assignments to be sure that you know what they are. And we know that all kids don't carry notes and information back to their parents. I'm, you, are, you are so right. But I will ask all of my teachers and the coaches will ensure that uh, teachers post every day. Okay? Keep those questions coming, Anonymous. For how long can you keep the mask? Forever. It's yours. Yes. Uh, on the next slide, uh, I have that we'll do our parent-teacher conferences and we'll have to do Zoom. We'll do a Zoom teacher-parent conference. Okay? All right. Um, I'm going to, oh, good. That's the end of that one. So let me go on. I'm going to bring the questions down. Uh, we will have recess and PE. Kids need to be active. Uh, there are two spaces that we can use for playing outdoors. So only one class at a time can go into those specific places. Well, actually, we have three. We have the gymnasium. We have on the side on the blacktop and we also have the playground we will probably also use the front of the building and close the gates so that we have supervised organized play outside we will do that until as long as the weather holds up that's what we'll do also physical education classes will be held outside and Mr. Correa will have to design his lessons to limit social, to permit social distancing, to limit kids being too close to one another. Ms. Cuervo? Actividades deportivas y clases de educación física. Hay tres lugares o más, dicho, cuatro lugares que podemos utilizar para la educación física. Nuestro maestro de educación física va a planear un, una idea de cómo vamos a todavía tener ejercicio, pero también físicamente usar la distancia para los niños. Límite de una clase afuera en un espacio espe específico a la vez. Si el clima lo permite, todas las clases de educación física se llevarán a cabo afuera. Todo el equipo se limpiará antes y después de las clases. Todas las actividades serán diseñadas para permitir el distanciamiento social. Okay, Ms. Jones. Okay. I'm going to have to pull up mine so that I can see. I can't see the bottom. <laughs> okay. Uh, as we said, there'll be, please stay home, keep your child home if they are sick. We are also saying that to our faculty. If they are sick, they need to stay at home. But we're also asking that we do the things we need to do to stay as healthy as we can. Daily temperature checks will happen before anyone enters the building. Students and staff who present a fever will be asked to return home and they, they may return if they are fever free for 72 hours without medication and will need to be cleared by a doctor. Ms. Cuervo, you wanna do that part? Okay. 
Indique a los estudiantes y al personal que se queden en casa si están enfermos. Los controles diarios de temperatura ocurrían antes de que alguien entre al edificio de la escuela. Se les pedirá a los estudiantes y al personal que presenten fiebre que regresen a casa para que un miembro de la familia los observe. Los estudiantes y el personal pueden regresar si no tienen fiebre durante 62 horas sin medicamentos y autorizados por un médico. Ok. Only the classroom teacher will monitor the class for lunch. We don't want all of that different exposure. So now the nurse will have a restricted quarantine space that we are going to build outside of her office to hold students who present symptoms. Kids will not come, we're gonna give band-aids and those things to classroom teachers, but we don't want kids just hanging out in the nurse's office. That day, those days are kinda of on pause. Uh, any child or teacher who receives a stay-at-home order and who tests positive must be cleared by a physician. Ms. Cuervo? Solo el maestro de la clase supervisará su clase durante el periodo del almuerzo. La enfermera tendrá un espacio de cuarentena restringido para mantener a los estudiantes con síntomas de COVID. Por ejemplo, si los niños ya okay. antes del año pasado, ellos entraban al, a la oficina de la enfermera para, una, por ejemplo, una curita o le duele algo, esto, ya vamos a estar limitando eso para que no muchas personas estén en un lugar a la misma vez. Ok. Attendance. Attendance policies for students and staff will be relaxed to provide uh, the concerns that you have uh, to not be concerns. And we want to keep our students, our staff, and our families, and the general community, we want to keep everyone as healthy as we can. Uh, we're asking that students stay in touch with their teachers, that if they're going to be absent for any length of time, please let the teacher know. Also know that all classwork needs to be made up in a timely manner. We cannot do what we did in the spring where kids would just check out and didn't do homework. Homework was our biggest challenge. And it was very difficult to teach our children uh, and to keep their standards of learning up if they're not doing any work. We also had parents who were doing the homework for the children. Please teachers, I mean parents, we know when kids don't do their own work. Please, there's one thing to sit and be of support and there's another thing to enable them to not know. They come to school and they can't write that beautiful sentence that they went home and did for homework. So please just be there to support your child Um, we would prefer that if they make a mistake, it's there because that's the only way we will know with the remote learning that they need support. And we're asking that parents adhere to our guidelines and those of the CDC. We are going to uh, try to do everything possible to take good care of our students while they're in the building and when they are traveling to and from the building. Las políticas de asistencia para los estudiantes se relajarán para, satisfaza, para satisfacer las mayores preocupaciones y la necesidad de mantener saludables a nuestros estudiantes, el personal, las familias y la comunidad. Se espera que los estudiantes y los padres se mantengan en comunicación con los maestros si los estudiantes están fuera por algún periodo de tiempo y todo el trabajo de clase debe realizar de manera oportuna. Por ejemplo, si los niños tienen tarea, por favor, padres, no lo hagan para los niños. Es muy importante que 
nosotros tengamos más los maestros un entendimiento que si el niño necesita ayuda, es, va a ser el trabajo de ellos y el maestro va a entender lo que tiene que trabajar con el niño. Todos y cada uno de los premios de asistencia como incentivos están actualmente suspendidos. Los padres deben adhesir a las pautas de PPA y CDC. Haremos todo lo que podamos para proteger a todos nuestros estudiantes mientras estamos en nuestro edificio y clases. Ok. Uh, there will not be any attendance awards for this year. Ok. So let's not worry about that. All students and staff will wear masks and face shields while they are in the building. We will supply face shields and masks for all students and staff. Parents and families are asked to make sure that those face shields come back to school every day, making sure that they're clean and taken good care of. They are not toys for the baby to play with. Uh, we have, to, you know, we don't have a finite amount and know that our budgets are going to be very tight as the city and state have not cut our funding, but we're not getting funding to take care of this. Just as the state hasn't received any money from the federal government, neither have we. And we know that the cost of saving lives uh, is very expensive. Uh, virtual instruction, this answers a question that a lot of our parents have asked. Virtual instruction will be provided for any students with, with needs that will not comfortably allow them to come to school. And if a child or a family has any anxiety about coming into the building, you do not have to come in. We will make the appropriate arrangements for your child so that that's not something you have to worry about. We want to support every student's safety and their learning. Please document any concerns on that survey that you are going to be asked to complete. Ms. Cuervo? Todos los estudiantes y personal usarán máscaras y protector faciales mientras estén en el edificio escolar de la Academia Península Prep. PPA proporciona máscaras y máscaras para todos los estudiantes y personal. Se les pide a los padres y las familias que se aseguren de que nuestros estudiantes usen una máscara y un protector facial todos los días, asegurándose que se lo limpien y cuiden cuidando todo lo que les demos, o sea, la, la máscara y el protector facial, los estudiantes recibirán la máscara limpia todos los días. Las inquietudes de personal se abordarán caso por caso. Si ustedes se sienten, por ejemplo, con mucha ansiedad que su hijo entre a la escuela, como ha dicho la principal, hay otras opciones. Los niños pueden trabajar virtualmente. Se proporciona instrucción virtual para cualquier estudiante con necesidades complejas y otras poblaciones vulnerables se abordarán casos por casos. Se harán adaptaciones apropiadas para apoyar completamente la seguridad y aprendizaje de los estudiantes. Cualquier consideración adicional deberá documentarse en la encuesta de padres, por favor. La señora Todd Jones va a poner algo, un, form un formulario que usted puede escoger la pista A, pista B o pista C y ahí abajo puede escribir cualquier in inquietud que usted tenga para el próximo año. Ok, Ms. Jones. All right, here's the schedule, everyone. For September through December. Esto es lo que va a pasar para we'll divided into three groups so diciembre. that we can have social distancing. You will receive a survey for each of your children. If you have three children, you'll need to fill in three surveys. There are only three questions, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but if you don't complete the survey, then we'll have to put your child wherever. We want you to have a choice. I'm up to, I've gotten 10 more questions. So let me go back and answer a few questions here. 
Padres, es muy importante. Okay. Si ustedes tienen tres hijos, por favor, hagan tres uh, For how long? Okay, we did that. All right, we did that. Okay, going on. Why am I not receiving dojo and announcements? Well, there really haven't been any uh, other than, uh, as far as I know, dojo is working. The last one that I sent was for Father's Day. And then Miss Jones posted this document so that you have it in writing. Um, please contact Miss Jones if your, doc, if your dojo isn't working and she will do all that she can to help you with that. Um, so I see that a parent said she spent all the session trying to get a tablet from the DOE. So here's what we, our fifth graders turned in their tablets. So now we have to use tablets. We're also purchasing some Chromebooks because they are reasonable. Um, and Mr. Peduano is putting, trying to put together a plan so that if you decide to do a Chromebook, uh, that we want to do a plan so that you can keep it and it's yours. Uh, they're only like $200. So the school will pay half of it and we would ask the families to pay the other half and then you can keep it. Um, we know that the fast face mask will be very difficult for our kindergartners. So we ask that they have the shield. It'll be easier for them to keep the shield on than the mask. I can barely keep the face mask on, I get hot. Uh, can we use the face shield for two weeks, four weeks, 10 weeks? You can use the face shield as long as we have them. As long as we are told by the Center for Disease Control to use a face mask, that's how long we're going to do it. Um, I am not a medical professional, but I do follow the guidelines for the Center for Disease, for the Center of, from disease, of Disease Control. So whatever they recommend is what we'll do. But I'm sure it's going to be longer than two weeks. Hi, Anonymous. Are we allowed to send our children with their own lunch? Yes, you may. But please instruct your child to not share any of it with their classmates. Kids have a tendency to pass out your lunches to their friends. We're going to be closely monitoring that. So, uh, but please, we need you to begin that process immediately with them so that they know beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are not to share lunch. But know that their lunches still will be hot. We're not going to cut back on the quality of the meals. We went, to, we went through too many changes to hire a caterer to, to prepare their meals. The only difference is going to be that the meals will be already covered before we get them, okay? Will the children wear their uniforms? I think that they should wear their uniforms while they're doing remote because when they're sitting there in their pajamas, they lay down, they go to sleep, they walk away, they play with the cover, they'll find something else to do. So wearing their uniform is what we're going to ask them to do because they will be in school. So fingers crossed, a parent asked, will we all come back in January? Fingers crossed, we want to come back in January. And I am visualizing us being back in January. That's why our calendar does not go further than December. I want us all to be able to come back by January. So fingers crossed, everybody. How long can we use the face shield? As long as we need it, you can use the face shield. When your child gets their face shield, it's yours. It's yours. It's theirs. This is theirs. Mr. Pierre has already given me mine. 
So I have mine. I'm going to write my name somewhere on here, probably there. So this will be mine. Your child will have one just like this, and we will put their names on it, OK? Uh, what's on Dojo right now? We are giving you the information as we get it. Uh, we, uh, I, I can't, I don't want to guess and mislead you. So when I get information, I pass it on to you. We created this plan that we have based on the guidelines from the CDC. This is not a Mrs. Jones invention. Uh, Ms. Laurent and I have read that document and you too can Google it, the CDC guidelines for schools, and you will see this identical information. We are basing all of our decisions on data and facts, okay? When will we know what to do as far as middle school is concerned? Ms. Reeves will, be able, will begin that as soon as we get them in school. She'll be, she will let you know. Things aren't going to change that dramatically. You'll still get the information that you need. Ah, uh, uh, Ms. Reeves is calling me now. One second. Hi, Ms. Reeves. Thank you. Okay. She called to tell me that you'll know in October. That's when the information comes to them, to her. She'll have it in October, and that's when she'll begin passing that information and having meetings with you. Our class is beginning at 8 a.m. like normal. Yes. Will the school day start at 9 or 8? 8. eight. Is there a limit to the capacity of a certain track? Yes, 18 per track, okay? Uh, there is one, there is a kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth on track A, K through five, track B, K through five, track C. We take the same 54 children we have instead of two tracks, two classes, we're creating three classes. So that is the only way we can do the social distancing. All right? Is the survey mandatory? Yes, you still have to say they're gonna stay home because we have to be able to document that your child is registered in our school. So you have to just say that your child is gonna stay home and do all remote learning. Please don't just decide you're not gonna answer. It is necessary that you answer, okay? All right. Is there going to be bus service in the morning and afternoon? As far as we know, we have not heard that yet, but we are going to assume, and I hate to assume, that there will be pickup in the morning and drop off in the evening. The survey is on Dojo, okay? All right, going back. Uh, surveys, uh, this one was on the surveys. Next page. Uh, it's that one, y yes. This is just a written explanation of the schedule. Okay, all right. And those who need to translate what this says, you can translate it through Dojo. Work assigned during virtual lessons will need to be included. While teachers will be teaching their students Kids will be expected to do their assignments. It won't be like in the spring where kids sometimes didn't do their assignments. So they will have to do that. So now this is just random information and I'm gonna, Miss 
Cuervo and I are going to try to just go through it quickly. It's not anything you haven't already heard. Students will wash their hands or use sanitizer before going to classes and coming back from classes. All classes in and out throughout the day, we're keeping hands clean. That's a priority. Ms. Cuervo? Los estudiantes se lavarán las manos y usarán disinfectante para manos antes de asistir a clases de especialidad y regresar de clases de especialidad. Okay, students will wash their hands and use sanitizer before going out for recess and returning from recess. We said already that kids will only be in one area at a time and we're in their big spaces so that they can have social distancing and they will be monitored by an adult. Los estudiantes se lavarán las manos y usarán disinfectante de manos antes de salir para el recreo y regresar del recreo con solo una clase en una área a la vez para permitir el distanciamiento social y monitorando por un adulto. Sanitizer will be and hand washing will happen before they eat breakfast or lunch going in and out when we have after if we have after school they'll also do this for dinner los estudiantes se lavarán las manos y usarán disinfectante de manos antes de ir a la cafetería para el desayuno almuerzo o cena y regresar y cuando regresen a la, la cafetería también si tenemos nosotros um, after school con ayuda después de la escuela también van a estar usando disinfectante Staff and students will practice social distancing to the best of our ability at all times. Los estudiantes y personal practicarán el distanciamiento social lo mejor que podamos en todo momento. Next page. Uh, highly limit, there will be no using of the same equipment like pencils, scissors, crayons. There will be no shared items. Habrá un entrecambio muy limitado de artículos como lápices, tijeras y crayones. Cualquier elemento compartido será eliminado entre usos. Okay, we will have the virtual open house as well as Zoom parent-teacher conferences and that will happen in November. Open House Virtual este año, así como conferencias individuales de padres y maestros de Zoom, se llevarán a cabo en noviembre. No Girl Scouts or sporting uh, or after school sports for the first semester. No Girl Scouts y uso deportivo muy limitado de las instalaciones de PPA. The holiday concert will not happen in the building and any assemblies will be Zoom activities until further notice. Ningún concierto festivo dentro del edificio y las asambleas serán actividades de Zoom hasta nuevo aviso. Food will be served and eaten in the cafeteria, but we will spread the children out. Um, tape marks will be on the floors so that children know where they can walk and how to stay safe and they will go straight to their classrooms when they enter the building in the mornings. La comida todavía se servirá y se comerá en la cafetería, pero los estudiantes se repartar, repartarán tanto como sea posible. Los estudiantes con problemas especiales de salud pueden tener adaptaciones individuales. Habrá marcas de cinta en los pisos para la cafetería, los pasillos y los baños. Los estudiantes irán directamente a sus aulas al entrar al edificio por las mañanas. Last page. Hand washing, high priority. We know that it's going to take a lot of time, but we're going to teach our children how to do it quickly and efficiently so that uh, they are, um, we keep them as healthy and as clean as possible. 
We're going to, okay, go on. Lavarse las manos en una alta, es una alta prioridad. Sabemos que esto llevará mucho tiempo, pero debemos hacerlo por la seguridad y la salud de todos nosotros. La práctica y el monitorado regulares acortarán el tiempo dedicado. We will have specific arrival and departure doors, which will be assigned, and strict adherence is expected and will be appreciated, parents. Please don't get angry with us if we say you can't come in. It's important in order to protect our children and in turn protect the family. Please talk to your children about shaking hands and hugging and high fives or even fist bumps for now. Ms. Cuervo? Se asignará puertas específicas de llegada y salida. La estricta agencia será esperada y apreciada. Desaliamiento las manos um, temblarosas, um, los abrazos, los cinco altos y los golpes de puño por ahora no vamos a hacer. Okay. Uh, we will pay attention to siblings. I know we have a set of triplets in the building. We have brothers and sisters, so we understand that. So we will take that into consideration so that you know uh, that we will do all that we can to support the structure of classrooms. La instrucción será muy diferente a la luz de la diferenciación que deberá realizar y con un maestro. Los cursos de la clase deberán considerar factores importantes, es decir, a hermanos que están necesitados educativamente. Nos realizamos múltiples cambios eh, una vez realizado, ya queremos que nuestros estudiantes se acostumbren a una nueva rutina que sea más cómodo para ellos. Ok. Uh, we have ordered the forehead thermometers, but we're also looking into having the ones that are wall mounted as well. We will take temperatures twice a day, once in the morning when children enter and once when they go to lunch. Actualmente hemos ordenado termómetros para la frente, pero también estamos considerando lo que se montan en la pared para que los estudiantes y el personal lo use durante todo el día. Okay, the nurse's office will have very strict enforcement of criteria to uh, support our students. We know she's going to be busy, but we don't want children to be contaminated by any germs or anything that can be there when other children are sick. Kids cannot just come to the nurse to hang out. So uh, we will train our teachers on how to know what to do. And we ask that parents help us with this by please not sending their kid to school if they are sick, okay? La oficina de enfermería. Let me go back to our questions. La oficina de enfermería tendrá una aplicación muy estricta de los criterios para enviar estudiantes, ya que problemáticamente estará muy ocupada. Um, can you change tracks if it doesn't work out? We want you to give this careful consideration uh, because we will be filling the tracks to capacity. And we're not going to place more than 18 children in a classroom at a time. So please, please, please think about it. Check your schedule so that we don't have to continuously change a child every month, okay? Um, we are, but you know that nothing is carved in stone except the Sermon on the Mount. So if there is some extenuating circumstance that you need to change, we will consider it. Can I change from in-person to remote? You certainly can. You certainly can. Will it be Monday through Friday regular school hours? Yes, for the most part. Yes. How are we going to be eating lunch? Because, well, the face shield you can eat.
the mask, yes, will have to come down, but eating and drinking can happen with the face shield. Deadlines for homework. They should be in the next day. Okay. I missed the answer. Uh, Ms. Ms. Jones, uh, there have been a couple of parents who have said they don't see this on Dojo. Will you kindly post it again? Yes. And we will give you school supplies in August. Well, no, they're coming up now. We'll get the school supply list together. Look for it to be on Dojo in a week. Okay? All right. Is there after school? We don't know. The city, the state may say we can't have after school. And we would limit after school to only nine children per group, if we can. Just like they're having camps now that can hold three to 400 children, but they're only taking 150. Uh, we will only take 50 kids for after school if we can do after school. We don't know yet. That we will tell you in August. Thank you so much, Mom, for supporting us. We're trying to do all that we can to put it all together to support our families and let our parents uh, have as much time as they need to make certain decisions. Ms. Jones is going to post the survey as soon as we are done here, okay? Uh, can it be considered to start school at nine? Hmm, we'll talk about it. I, nothing's carved in stone. I will talk to the board and I will speak to my leadership team and it's something that we will consider starting school at nine. The problem will be busing because busing, we bus before the regular DOE schools go in. So we would be there at the same time attempting to travel. So there are things that we have to consider about changing the time of our school, okay? When will children know their new class and teacher? Uh, we, We'll wait until the surveys come in because that's when we will know how to place the kids. Can children put the face shield on top of the forehead during a meal? Okay, we'll look at how that works. And you are very, very welcome. We've tried to give it a lot of thought. So I appreciate that parents are feeling confident in our efforts. Um, you are very welcome for attending and being here. Uh, we've answered 63 questions at this point. So I'm hoping that if you have any other questions, you can send uh, the question directly to me or you, or to Miss Jones, and if she can't answer it, she'll forward it to me. If you are a Spanish speaker, uh, she'll forward it to Miss Cuervo. But know that we are looking to do everything we can to support you and our students. Thank you, parents. Thank you for being here. We'll see you August 12th for the final, final decisions. And we'll take all of the questions and considerations that you have presented. I see I have three more questions, so let me answer those. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we, pre-K. Now, pre-K, we don't have answers for pre-K just yet because they operate under a different program. Um, Mrs. Inforna and I have discussed pre-K and uh, 
they, we have been thinking about doing them half day so that uh, they will eat lunch and then go home and then the new group comes in and they will eat lunch and then begin their session. But we don't know that for sure yet. We have to see what the city, how the city directs us, okay? But all pre-K children who have submitted an application should consider themselves accepted because our pre-K children have not had to go through the lottery. It's first come, first serve. So if you submitted an application for pre-K, you're in. Okay, I think the mirror makes me good. Thank you. I'm hoping, I'm glad that you're feeling comfortable, parents. Uh, how do I know if my child is placed in kindergarten? Mrs. Hernandez is sending that out, uh, I want to say next week. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, I've answered the pre-K question. All pre-K students should consider themselves accepted. The next meeting will be at four o'clock again, okay? Thank you. Yes, email kjones at peninsulaprep.org. That's how you can contact me. kjones at peninsulaprep.org. Thank you. Survey, Ms. Jones is gonna put all the survey and put this document on Dojo as soon as we're finished here. And we're going to think about the nine o'clock start, but we do have to consider the busing. I think that's all. All right. Thank you, parents. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.